How far into our world has artificial intelligence reached? Well, AI, in many sense, has, has reached into all of our pockets. You know, we're carrying a cell phone. But what we're trying to lay the foundation today is, what we're seeing today, it pales in comparison to what is coming. So for example, last show we talked about surveillance capitalism. And we talked about how they're capitalizing on the data that they're gathering from all of your electronic, electronic devices. But let's, let's kind of can we take a, a step further. There is a day coming very, very soon, because the tech exists right now, where they will be able to exploit the thoughts in your brain, the very thoughts in your brain. And th the fact is this, it's a thought privacy. Mm. You know, I, I would say this, what is arguably the most private part about what you'd refer to as the human experience, right? It's our thoughts. Right. It's our thoughts. No one can know what our thoughts are, ever unless we communicate them. It's a private place. It's a secret place. You know, I don't know what you're thinking unless you tell me. Now, I will say this. God knows yeah. our maker. Yeah. And he knows our thoughts all the time. And actually, I want to read a couple of scriptures and yeah, I'm going to keep absolutely. going from here. This is going kind to of be our launching point. Psalms 139, 1 through 4 illustrates that God knows our Lord. Or, oh, Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. He knows what we are thinking. Yeah. You search out my path and my lying down. You are acquainted with all of my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, oh Lord, you know it all together. Jeremiah 12, 3, talking about what's in our heart. But you, oh Lord, know me. You see me and test my heart yeah, towards you. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and set them apart for the day of slaughter. First Chronicles 29, 17. I know my God that you test the heart. And in this case, right, you are pleased with integrity. Hmm. Acts 15, 8. And God who knows the heart bore witness to them by giving them the Holy Spirit just as he did to us. The fact is this. God is the only one that knows us in our mind. And, I, and, and the antichrist system that's being built with artificial intelligence, Satan in the end times is building a kingdom just like God's. It is a demonic parallel. And in the same way, God knows when a sparrow falls to the ground and the number of hairs on your head, yeah. this new eye will literally know what is in your mind and will know everything that is taking place within the world in real time with zero latency. Let me give you a couple examples. In the end times, God will demonstrate his seal of ownership on his servants yeah. in the end days yeah. with a mark yeah. on their foreheads. Amen. Satan will do the same thing. He wants to be like God. That's right. We know this, the false trinity of the end times, right? Mm -hmm. It's a false trinity. Right. Satan, the antichrist, the false prophet, which is a demonic parallel for God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, yeah, right. We know that Satan, because of what they're building right now, will be all-knowing through complete connectivity. Remember, the word complete connectivity means whenever everything throughout an entire world, which is connected through those low Earth orbiting satellites, which will have 40,000 plus by 2030, as compared to just a couple of thousand satellites right now, collecting data from the one trillion devices, IO, they're called IoT devices, by 2030, that's a 14,000% increase. That is a pro projection by Masayoshi Sun the owner of ARM, which owns nearly all microchips and all smartphones wow. in the entire world, a 14,000% increase, collecting data in real time through the LEO satellites, sending it to what they're referring to as a global brain. They will know everything that takes place throughout the world, like I said, in real time with zero latency. Mm. And the promises such of Neuralink, they're they're called BCIs, wow. Brain Computer Interfaces. They're one of many companies that are seeking to do this. The promises of Neuralink sound ser eerily similar to the work of our Lord Jesus. Mm. Neuralink has promised to give sight to the blind, mm. <laughs> the deaf. The deaf will hear, the lame will walk, those oppressed with schizophrenia, seizures, autism, or any other brain disorders will be healed. But in whose name ultimately? Satan wants to be like God. Right. And all of this is taking place, but we would still have thought, well, at least we have a place in our mind 
that is safe, that, that cannot be accessed. Mm. And we're going to be showing some things today that would show you that they can now officially access the things that are within your brain. And we're just getting started.